Sadly, Leo season is over, my season. But now it's time for Virgo. We've got the Pinterest board made, but this time we're gonna be taking things a little bit different and doing it all at the same time. That one's a little bit messy. That one's a little bit messy. Today is Virgo. Here we are. Here we go. Virgo. Let's learn what a Virgo actually is. The color palette is dark green, tan, and rust, which I think is a really unique color palette. Very neutral, muted, earth toned. The ruling planet is Mercury. The element is earth. The archetype is the goddess which we will be using. And the symbol is kind of like an M, but with extra steps. Going into this one, I knew nothing about Virgo, but they've got some really interesting traits. Generally, they seem to be nice, kind people. That's what seems to be coming across. They are hardworking, artistic, observant, faithful, kind, patient, responsible, reliable, and modest. As for the negative traits, they are there, but I don't think they're really big and bad, to be honest. I mean, not compared to other star signs. They can be critical, stubborn, uptight, but then they're also worried, people pleasing, frustrated easily, overly independent. Like honestly, I don't think they're that bad. Not really. Let's have a little look at some inspiration now. This one, I love everything about it. This one too. The color palettes are so beautiful. I love the 70s look of this one. I just think it's fantastic. This one represents more the character that we're going to be doing. Our Virgo is a goddess. She is a slightly mature woman with white hair. However, there was a slight problem with that. You know how white hair can be associated with fantasy and mystery and not actually real life people with white hair? Pinterest is completely full of AI. I typed in woman white hair. Every single one was AI. It's like women with actual white hair don't exist. I mean, I'd like a good reference of a human so that the anatomy is completely there and that didn't really exist. So we're gonna have to wing it a little bit. Literally the closest thing that I could find is this woman who I'm pretty sure is AI. So we're gonna have to wing it slightly. I found this reference of a woman sitting down, which I think will be perfect. It's royalty free, but we are gonna have to figure out how a long dress is gonna work with that pose. So let's get sketching. I do really love the idea of doing a bit of framing around this piece, so I'm gonna see if that's possible. But it's not gonna be like flowers. It's gonna be more like a pattern, I think. Um, but then if it's cross-legged, so we can just add the legs a little bit higher, right? See what I mean? It kind of looks odd. Maybe the arms should actually go kind of here. So it's obvious that they're like in her lap. Oh yeah, I forgot about elbows. So the elbows that she has, they go like that. I'll have to try and figure it out a little bit more. I'll have to look up some actual patterns, but basically there will be a border around and it will even continue down here. And it is going to be quite a light piece in all fairness. I'm not sure if the background is gonna be light or dark because I feel like the dark green or dark brown could actually work with the white hair. So maybe I will make a note of that. Okay, it's difficult to picture, but I think we might have our gal Virgo here. This one is quite different from the others. There will be a frame around the outside and it's slightly further away. Also, the color palette is not something that I ever use, so I don't know how that's gonna go. But on the page, it looks quite cute. Okay, I'm gonna go work on the sketch now. I'll see you when we start painting and we'll go through the story together. Thank you. 
I was looking forward to learning about Virgo because I must admit, before this challenge, I didn't know anything about this star sign. For quite a few of the star signs, if I don't know somebody that is one of them and has told me a little bit about it, I don't know anything about them. So let's find out a little more about Virgos. They are the sixth sign of the zodiac calendar. It's an earth sign alongside Taurus and Capricorn. We have already met Taurus and Virgos are ruled by Mercury. Not really sure where Mercury fits into this, but who knows? Its corresponding body part is the hands. The word Virgo comes from the Latin word for virgin. However, this also means maiden, which simply means unmarried. So a Virgo can be a strong, independent woman, which I'm sure we can all get behind. The star sign is heavily linked to three women from Greek mythology. Astrea, the last immortal to leave Earth when the gods left for Olympus. Demeter, the goddess of the harvest. And Persephone, the embodiment of spring and plant life. Even ancient Egypt had these themes of growth and life associated with Virgo, since the sun appears in the Virgo constellation when it's time to harvest. Whilst these aren't easily woven into one character, the traits of Virgo really exemplify all of these characters. On top of that, the archetype of Virgo is the goddess, which narrows down who a Virgo really is. The traits of Virgo, more so than any other star sign I've researched so far, are entirely positive. Like, entirely positive. Their most defining feature is a simple want to help. They are kind, caring, and incredibly supportive. They often act as a maternal figure with this supporting and caring nature. Overall, they're just incredibly loving individuals. They're also very artistic, with many Virgos being musicians. Beyonce, Zendaya and Michael Jackson are all Virgos, showing that music streak. Though any creative pursuit that builds something allows a Virgo to shine. This we can use to create our Virgo character. Their flaws are still mostly positive too, just maybe pushed to the extreme. Their caring and supportive nature can be considered controlling, but this is often overshadowed by their selfless nature. So basically, Virgos are the nicest star signs. So, shall we meet our new character? It starts at the beginning with a family, a family of gods. They looked at the stars and wanted to join in, and so they did. They sculpted a world just for themselves. Virgo was proud of all their hard work. She looked at the efforts that her family had made, all the heart and soul she and her kin had poured into this world, and she was proud. She wanted to share her family's gifts and creations. Her family, especially her father, saw their creations as perfect. The joy was in the work, rather than the audience. And so they left. Her family left the world in peace. Virgo, she stayed. A rebel at heart, she walked in her family's world, overcome with inspiration. Their world needed a purpose, an audience even. In the mountains, she saw her brother's strength and resilience. She took the stone at the heart of the mountain and created the dwarves. Being stout of heart with a true appreciation for the mountains, for her brother. In the South Seas, her sister's uncontrollable will showed itself. Virgo saw the beauty of these waters, the untamable waves mimicking the untamable curls of her sister's hair, and the untamable spirit she had. Virgo took these waves, the tides and the currents, and formed them into the ever-adaptable merfolk, a rebellious and untamable race who saw beauty in the water through its connections with all living things. The eastern skies freed her spirit. Virgo saw the vast expanse of sky, seemingly endless and open. Nothing hidden, nothing tied down. The sheer weight of this reminded her of her father. To honor them, she took the cloud, the wind and the sun and found the energy that connected them all. The magic that was her father's gift. From this magic, she crafted the elves. Beings more akin to the gods and the heavens than those of Earth. A testament to her father's divinity. Virgo roamed the lands, crafting humans that reminded her of her family. In the open plains, she created minotaurs and centaurs, showing the beauty and strength of nature from her younger sister. The frozen wastes of the north saw winged beasts, spiritual and nomadic. 
forever soaring along the icy winds. Scaled creatures living in the heat of the desert. All over the world, she gave them all a gift, one final gift, her part of the tapestry. To each race, she gave artistry, an appreciation of the world and a desire to create. And Virgo was proud. With her work done, Virgo left to rejoin her family. All these races developed and evolved into sophisticated societies with their own cultures, legends, and heroes. There are two things in common. To be inspired is to have been touched by Virgo, her gift to mortals. The name changes, but the sentiment is consistent. A nurturing, invisible hand guiding the chisel, the paintbrush, the quill. To be seen by Virgo is to feel supported, to feel like you can create anything. And that all people at some point look to the heavens. They feel a sense of warmth, a comforting maternal support that all will be okay and that they are connected to the world. That they are seen from beyond the veil. Virgo looks back at these stargazers and smiles. She is a goddess. Oh, that is Virgo. She is a literal goddess. This painting, I will say, it took a few turns. The biggest was actually in the sketch phase where I drew a face I was very happy with and then realized it was too big to fit the rest of their body on the page. So you can't really tell anymore that Virgo is sitting upright like she was in the original sketch. Still, I think this might be the best face I've created so far. I'm loving where my art style is heading, and I really like the way I've created these eyes especially. The frame is different, it's unique, it adds something. I'm not sure what that is, but it's fun. I think the biggest contrast for me with this piece is the colour palette. This is a colour palette I have never used and I don't think I would ever choose it myself. There are shades I like on their own, but together... I don't think I would use such a neutral colour palette like this. Saying that, I think it's perfect for Virgo. It portrays a calm and kind vibe, as there isn't very much contrast. Maybe I need to push myself a bit more with the art that I create. That is one thing I've been loving about this challenge. Every time we're using a random palette that's already been decided and making it work. It's been a lot of fun to push myself like that and explore new things because I wouldn't have chosen this one myself. I'm using colour pencil and some white gel pen to add loose strands of hair. Honestly, I think this step completes the piece and adds so much. There is, however, something I missed with this piece. I don't know if you'll have noticed it already since I missed it at the start too, but we don't have a symbol. Usually, I try to pop the star sign symbol on a necklace or earring or sneakily fit it in somewhere, but not with this one. I think we actually were supposed to have a necklace, but I forgot. So I'm looking at it now trying to figure out where the symbol could go and I have no clue. Can you see anywhere that we might be able to add the symbol and it still makes sense? I definitely want to have it on there just like the others. I just need to figure out where it's going to go. Take it off the block and then we're all done. What do you think of our new character Virgo? If you've missed any in this series, why not check out the playlist down below? I might have already done yours. Drink some water, enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you again on Sunday. Bye!